father-in-law Kaido's monster cells create the strongest beasts. 161. Earth shaking, conqueror's coil versus conqueror's coil, the awakening precursor of an eco fruit. Add two black sword lights in the shape of an X, accompanied by black flashes, pierced through the air, and slashed the meatballs in the bear's hands. Bear was horrified. He was able to bounce all the meatballs, but it didn't work, and he couldn't bounce Liu Xing's cross cut back. This is the slash that entangles conquerors, and the fruit ability can't do everything. On this sea, only Haki can be above everything. Liu Xing's indifferent voice solved Xiang's doubts, and at the same time made the latter even more astonished. This man's Haki was so terrifying. Even the four emperors, it's just like that. Bang. The black sword wave actually cut open the bear's palm, and the bear was knocked out. Straw Hat Luffy is not willing to wait to die. He uses the third block to raise a boulder to defend. But the boulder was just a piece of paper in front of Jianbo, and it shattered directly. In the horrified eyes of everyone, the purgatory cross hit the straw hat Luffy's chest. What? Straw hat Luffy screamed. The body is like a kite with a broken string, thrown far away. Straw hat Luffy's rubber body, although 263 is immune to physical attacks such as bullets, but is very afraid of slashing. It can be clearly seen that there is a huge X-shaped wound on the chest of straw hat Luffy. Blood gushed out from it and spilled onto the ground. His eyes have also turned white, and his face has no blood at all. Straw Hat Luffy fell to the ground a thousand meters away and never got up again. Luffy. The members of the Straw Hats were horrified, with expressions of despair in their eyes. Is Luffy dead? No, Luffy is the man who wants to become the Pirate King. How could he die? Usopp couldn't believe it, but Luffy's motionless body shattered his hopes a little. No, Luffy will never die. Sanji, who was shot out by Liu Oxing earlier, stood up from the rubble and struggled to walk in the direction of Luffy. Kizaru who was fighting with Enl, also looked over. Monkey D. Luffy, who is making a fuss about Enai's lobby, the limelight boy in the straw hat, seems to have come to an end. Add. But it's strange, why would a new world big man like Yu Ang Liu Oxing kill a pirate rookie like Straw Hat Luffy? Although Straw Hat Luffy has a bounty of 300 million, he is still just a rookie. In front of top powerhouses such as Kizaru and Liu are crossing. Similarly, supernovas such as Kid, Hawkins, Drake, etc are just rookies at this time. The other side. Before he could stop Liu Xing's plute on Rayleigh, his eyes were split, his pupils were bloodshot, and Rayleigh had never been so angry since Roger's death. You bastard. Rayleigh groaned. He didn't care about any reservations. He planned to go all out, go all out, and briefly burst out with the same power as the peak period. Like a vigorous cheetah, it came to the top of Liu Xing in the blink of an eye. The knife wrapped around Conqueror's haki and a mission slashed towards Liu o crossing. Liu Xing glanced up and said with a smile. Just to test the fate of the sun gods you are looking at, they are all crazy. While speaking, Yan Mo in his hand lifted up without hesitation. An astonishing scene appeared. Liu Xing's knife and Rayleigh's knife did not touch each other, but were separated by a distance. This is Conqueror's Coil versus Conqueror's Coil. Just like Roger vs. Whitebeard, a terrifying black airflow swept the world. The entire Sabadi archipelago shook violently and seemed to collapse. The sky is even more gusty winds, dark clouds gather, and a huge gap is split from the middle like a straight, good, era. Apu, Hawkins, Ur or Uj, Drake six supernovas were shocked and speechless, in front of Haki, who looks down on the world like this, they are too weak and will definitely be killed in seconds, Apu swallowed his saliva and became more determined to join the hundred beasts, Zora was also shocked, this is the world's top swordsman, who can destroy the world without touching it, Eagle Eye, the most powerful swordsman in the world, does that man also possess such power? Zora's eyes sparkled with endless longing and ambition. He also has to learn Conqueror's twist. Otherwise he will not be the strongest swordsman. Add. Fortunately, listening to Lord Liu Oxing, he also has the aptitude to become a king and has initially awakened Conqueror's. Marine's chief staff officer Crane, Admiral Kizaru, and CP0's boss are all big earthquakes. They knew some information about Liu Oxing earlier, saying that Liu Oxing was suspected of being the master Conqueror's entanglement. But... They never expected that Liu Oxing's conqueror's entanglement was already so strong that it could be evenly matched with Pluton Rayleigh in an explosive state. Young and young, not only have so many heaven-defying inventions, but even Haki has cultivated enough to rival the four emperors. This man is so scary. Kizaru was too scary this time, but he was no longer joking as before, but extremely serious. The strength Liu Oxing showed at the moment seemed to make him feel a great threat. Stab Lala in the central space where Liu Oxing's Yan Mo and Rayleigh's knife collided. It seemed that they were about to be unbearable, as if they were about to be torn apart. Cold sweat broke out on Rayleigh's forehead. He thought that Yu Ang Liu Oxing would be very strong, but he never expected to be so strong. His move has already gone all out, and he has exerted the strength of the peak period, but he is still blocked by the opponent. Incredible, unbelievable. Rayleigh couldn't help thinking of Roger. Perhaps the man in front of him could only be compared to Roger when he was young. Although he was amazed at Liu Oxing's talent and strength, Rayleigh couldn't stop at this moment. On the contrary, 
he will continue to go all out, delay as much time as possible, let Straw Hat crew escape with Luffy. Normally, Liu Xing's sword that hit Straw Hat Luffy would definitely kill anyone under the top power, but before hitting, it was blocked by Tyrant Bear's meatball ability, and the power was slightly weakened. In addition, Straw Hat Luffy's vitality is extremely tenacious, especially the zone middle dot Trinran fruit middle dot Udman's middle dot Nika form he eats, so Straw Hat Luffy has a vitality and resilience that surpasses Kaido of the beasts. In addition, this fruit, nicknamed the Sun God, seems to have some kind of self-awareness. It will search for its master autonomously, and will also awaken when the master is dying. And the moment Nika fruit awakens is when Joey Bowie returns. Liu Xing wants to kill Luffy, in addition to the opposition of positions. The main reason is to see if the Nika fruit will awaken. Just now when he slashed the straw hat Luffy, he saw a white flame in a trance that should be a precursor to the awakening of Nika fruit. Add, Liu Xing's eyes flickered, feeling that things were getting more and more interesting. Far away. The stone of the ruins was suddenly pushed away by a broken palm, revealing a broken body covered in blood. It was Bartholomew Kima. He had just endured part of the power of Liu Xing's purgatory cross slash, and this part of the power almost killed him. Fortunately, he has long since awakened his ability to cultivate the flesh ball fruit. He can not only pop out the pain and exhaustion in other people's bodies, but also the injuries in his own body. It is through this ability that Bartholomew Kima is not dead and barely able to move. Long, even if I take my life. I will let your son leave here. Bartholomew Kima staggered to his feet. Taking a deep breath, regardless of whether the broken body can hold up, he still desperately activates the flesh ball fruit ability. Next moment, he teleported next to Luffy, the straw hat he was motionless, not even breathing. Hope you don't die, the dragon should have a way to save you. Goodbye, straw hat, snapped. The bear's remaining half palm patted lightly, and the straw hat Luffy's body instantly disappeared in place. Instead of going to the daughter country like in the original 5.4. The destination that Xung sent Luffy this time was actually Baldigo, the island of white soil, the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. The main reason is that the Pirate Empress is now very close to Liu crossing. If Luffy is taken to daughter country, Luffy will die even if he doesn't die. Of course bears aren't stupid enough to do that. Immediately afterwards, Xung held up his body again and shot all the other members of the Straw Hats away. After everything was done, the bear collapsed tiredly. His body actually feels no pain at all, because Vegapunk's transformation of him has basically been completed. Soon he will lose even his emotions. Goodbye, this world. 99. After finishing the last task, the bear closed his eyes. When he opens it again, he will become a slave robot without any emotion or self-awareness. 162. Celestial Dragon C1 Kill 1, Sengoku in anger. Kizaru who will fish to the end. Add. Liu Xing's original purpose was not to kill Straw Hat Luffy. He came to say buddy, mainly to attract the forces of Marine and the world government, and then use any gate to go to impel down, to catch the opponent by surprise. Test the sun god Nika fruit of destiny child, just for the sake of it. At the moment, the straw hat Luffy has been beaten by him casually, and he was slapped away by the tyrant bear with the last force. There is no need for Liu Xing to spend any more time with Pluton Rayleigh here. What's more, Enlil was besieged by two top powerhouses, Kizaru and CP0, and it was difficult to hold on for too long. Liu Xing's arm strength increased sharply, pushing Rayleigh back, then jumped up and jumped into the sky. The Cybertronian had already received his order transformed into a flying beast, and flew precisely to Liu Xing's feet. Liu Xing stood high in the sky, put Yan Mo into the scabbard, and put his hands on his back, and said with a smile, not a smile, that's it for today, everyone. Senior Pluton Rayleigh, next time I have a chance, I will discuss with you. Rayleigh was gasping for breath. His expression solemn. The strength of this young man has greatly exceeded his previous expectations. And the supernovas over there, Liu Xing glanced at Kid's group, Apu. Hawkins and others, you guys are about to enter the new world, he he. In that case, there won't be much time left for you, Kid, Kira, Apu, Erauj, Hawkins, and 18 Drake's 6 Supernovae all changed greatly. What does 5 Emperor Liu Oxing mean? If they want to go to the new world, will they kill them? Two people were not worried. One was Haming Apu, who had already decided to join the 100 beasts. Not only was he not worried, but he was very happy. The stronger Liu Oxing's strength and majesty the more secure he will be in the future of the Hundred Beasts. The other is Drake. Drake also plans to join the Hundred Beasts. Of course not really, but as Marine's undercover agent, he heard that Kaido of the Beasts is a person who loves talents, especially the Zone Dragon Fruit ability, and Drake is the Allosaurus form ability. Add, Kaido of the Beasts will definitely accept his refuge, and maybe give him a high position no less than Flu Bao. It's just that Drake would never have imagined that Kaido would really value him and trust him. But in Liu Xing's eyes, he was already dead. Liu Xing's sentence there is not much time left for you is mainly aimed at Drake and Kid. There are few careerists in Kid Supernova who have conquerors Haki, and he will not surrender to the beasts. To treat this kind of person, 
Liu Xing will not just go to prison like Kaido in the original book. Liu Xing's eyes finally swept towards Marine. Everyone from Marine and the world government, if you want to arrest me, I'm afraid you will come home empty-handed this time. Also, go back and persuade your master, Celestial Dragons, to stop Mary E. Joyce casually in the future. Otherwise, I see one kill one. The last sentence was calm, but it made everyone feel a deep chill in their hearts. Facing the world's noble and supreme celestial dragons, this man's tone was as relaxed and casual as killing chickens and dogs. The CPO members, who are known as the strongest guards of celestial dragons, immediately became extremely ugly. The CPO boss shouted angrily, Do you think Lao Tzu will let you leave today? You are the guy named by the five elders to kill. While talking, he and the rest of the CP0 members rushed towards Liu Oxing on the moonwalk. Boom. The thunder roared, and released the thunder column, bombarded CP0. A CPO member couldn't dodge in time and the whole person was burned into coke by the electric current of hundreds of millions of volts. How dare you speak unkindly to the young master. 35. N looked arrogant. He also stepped on the back of a Cybertronian. The last Cybertronian was Zora. Zora shouted in the air. Three swords flow middle. 1080 troubled Phoenix. 5. Several huge slashing waves shot out. Add. CP0 hurried to block. At the moment when they were too busy, the three Cybertronians had already carried Liu Oxing and three people, and disappeared into the sky in a blink of an eye. The CPO boss's expression was extremely difficult to see. It's not good for him to go back this time. This is the first time that CP0 has failed its mission since its inception. Admiral Kizaru still looked like an old fritters, put his hands in the pocket and said, I can't blame us this time. Who would have thought that the two obscure sidekicks beside Wu Huang Liu Oxing actually possessed a strength no weaker than that of the three disasters? It's really wrong information. Are you right, Officer Crane? Crane nodded heavily and sighed. Beasts pirates, it's getting scarier. No, to be precise. Liu Oxing, the Five Emperors, is getting scarier. Without Liu Oxing's hundred beasts, although it would be terrifying, it would not be so terrifying that it would make Marine and the world government extremely troublesome and helpless. The strength of the hundred beasts group has grown to the present level entirely because of Liu Oxing. If this person is not removed, Marine and the world government will never have peace. Kiza recrooked his mouth and said, Five Emperor Liu Oxing can't help it. But we have dispatched such a big battle this time, we can't go back empty handed. Right now in Sabadi. There are only supernovas such as Kid, Pluton Rayleigh, and the Empress Boa Hancock. Although the Empress was very close to Liu Oxing, she did not attack Marine just now, and her identity was still Shikai Bukai. And in the upcoming summit war, Marine will also rely on the power of the Empress. Therefore, both Kizaru and CP0 let the Empress go away unharmed. The Empress and her two younger sisters walked towards the coast of Sebadi, while her heart was full of love. She already fell in love with Liu Oxing but she can still maintain a little restraint. Until Liu Oxing killed three celestial dragons for her, the Empress fell completely and could not extricate herself. And Liu Oxing's last sentence before leaving just now was regarded as Liu Oxing's confession and promise to her in the ears of the Empress. The Empress almost fainted in happiness, so much so that she had no idea how she got on the nine snakes and how she ordered to set sail. The Queen is gone. Add. Pluton Rayleigh retracted his sword and left with a heavy heart. Kizaru put his hands in his pockets and didn't seem to see it. When he came, he only promised Sengoku to deal with Liu Oxing, but not Pluton Rayleigh. For every penny, Ikizaru will not take the initiative to take the task of 263 for himself. As for CP0, he was even less in the mood to deal with Rayleigh. They are now worrying about how to go back to the Five Elders and Celestial Dragons. You will definitely be scolded for it. Therefore, only Supernova and the rest of the ordinary pirates are left in Sebadi. Kizaru finally pulled out his hands in his pockets, looked at the pirates such as Supernova with a smile, and said, then I'll trouble you, don't let this old man be empty-handed, it will not look good on the face of the headquarters. 35. The pirates such as Supernova couldn't help but curse in their hearts. Your sisters Kizaru, you know how to pick soft persimmons. The five emperors Liu Oxing and Pluton Rayleigh just now, why don't you catch them? But after scolding, Admiral Kizaru stared at them, which still made them horrified. Without further ado, they all ran away. After some chaos, Kizaru captured four or five hundred pirates and returned to the marine headquarters beaming. When he sat in front of Marshal Sengoku and demanded ten times the salary Sengoku had promised earlier, Sengoku almost spit out a mouthful of old blood. Polslino, Polslino, you didn't kill the five emperors Liu Oxing, even if you didn't even catch a supernova, you caught four or five hundred insignificant pirates, what are you doing? Excited to get paid, Sengoku was burning with rage, and his rage was soaring. But in the end, Sengoku endured it and honestly paid Kizaru ten times his salary, because the summit war is coming. He hopes that Kizaru will not continue to fish in the war with the Whitebeard pirates like this time. Well, however, of course, Sengoku's good intentions and expectations were ultimately mispaid. 163. Im's killing intent. Liu Xing, 
who is more arrogant than rocks, collapsed Sabo, Ad, after Sengoku sent Kizaru away. He held a meeting of all Shikibukai the next day. All seven Shikibukai, except Jinbai, the seaman, accepted Marine's mandatory summoning order, which made Sengoku somewhat relieved. The Shikibukai here are, Tyrant Bartholomew Kima, Hawkeye Dracul Mihook, Blackbeard Marshall Middle dot D Middle dot Teach, Edward Weibull II, White, Shadow Fruit Ability Gecko Moria, and the world's most beautiful pirate Queen Boa Hancock. Sengoku glanced at the crowd with dignified eyes, and said solemnly, Tomorrow is the execution period of Far Fist Ace, and it is the day of the decisive battle with the Whitebeard Pirates. I hope you can contribute as much as possible, and don't live up to your Shikibukai title in vain. 5. Thief ha ha ha. The first to respond to Sengoku was Blackbeard. Blackbeard grinned his toothless mouth and said, Don't worry, Marshal Sengoku, we will definitely let Whitebeard know how good we are. As he spoke, a strange light flashed in Blackbeard's eyes. He wouldn't really work for Marine. In this summit war, the focus is not on Whitebeard and Marine, but on the luxurious stage where his Blackbeard shocked the world. Blackbeard had already made plans. When the meeting was over, he quietly left Marinford and headed for Impel Down. Conquer the vicious criminals on the sixth floor and return to Marinford. At that time, both the Whitebeard pirates and Marine would be hurt. Thief ha ha ha, that's when he Blackbeard reaps the profit. Blackbeard played the abacus beautifully. It's a pity he doesn't know, it's not just him who is eyeing Impel Down, but also Liu Oxing. Speaking of which, Marshal Sengoku. Blackbeard continued, Add, I heard that the five emperors Liu Oxing appeared in the Sabadi archipelago. Both your marine and the world government sent important forces to arrest him, but they all came back empty-handed. Is there such a thing? Sengoku's face sank immediately and said, It's none of your business, Blackbeard. When Blackbeard mentioned Liu Oxing's name, there were three people on the court with strange eyes. An empress who was completely captured by Liu Oxing. The empress looked at Blackbeard coldly, thinking, this ugly and disgusting guy dares to directly call the name of the person he loves in his concubine body and mind, it's extremely presumptuous. Another one with a strange look is Gecko Moria. Moria had already secretly surrendered to Liu Oxing, and she was also instructed by Liu Oxing to participate in this meeting. Tomorrow's summit war, his main mission, one is to observe Marine's strength, and the other is to keep an eye on Blackbeard. Try not to let the Blackbeard conspiracy succeed. Therefore, Moria's gaze at Blackbeard at this time was also quite unkind. The last one is Hawkeye. Hawkeye was the first person to see Liu Oxing's true face. As early as in East Blue, he met Liu Oxing. At that time, he was keenly aware that Liu Ang Liu Oxing was a guy with unfathomable abilities and far-reaching vision. Hawkeye was a little puzzled. That man is not a high-profile person. Why did he show up in Sabadi this time? It seems to be deliberately attracting the attention of Marine and the world government. What is his real purpose? Is it related to the huge war that is spread all over the world? Hawkeye is very curious and a little worried. Even his observation Haki, the most powerful swordsman in the world, cannot see through the future that Liu Oxing wants to create. At the same time, Holy Land Mary E. Joys. The five elders received a report from the boss of CP0. As expected by the latter, the five elders scolded him. Frightened, CPO told the five elders Liu Oxing's last words before he left. The five elders immediately became angry and overturned the table. Add, what? How dare that bastard tell celestial dragons to stop Mary E. Joys? or see one and kill one. Tilda. Damn. Damn. Even the rocks back then weren't so arrogant. Rocks, the sea overlord before Roger. Three of the current four emperors Whitebeard, Kaido, and Aunt were all his subordinates. In addition, including the legendary great pirate Golden Lion, Okoku, Captain John and others, were also his younger brothers. One can imagine how terrifying the rocks were back then. But even such a terrifying rocks, before attacking the Valley of Gods, was not as daring as Liu Oxing, who was ready to kill celestial dragons. The five elders were furious and scolded CP0 again. Then, the five elders rushed to Lord Im's palace in a hurry. The five elders, who were still aloft just now, were kneeling on the ground respectfully. In a cold sweat, he reported the situation of Sabadi and Liu Oxing's bold words to Lord Yim. Im's twin spiral pattern pupils obviously also revealed endless anger. I don't know how tall the boy is, kill the celestial dragons. Even Joey Boy, 800 years ago, didn't do this. To say that the biggest enemy of celestial dragons is not rocks, nor Roger. But Joey Boy 800 years ago. But even Joey Boy couldn't rewrite the 800 years of celestial dragon's domination of the world. That five emperor Liu Oxing, even though he invented some heaven-defying props, but he didn't eat the sun god Nika fruit, he was destined not to be Joey Boy. What courage and qualifications do you have to dare to kill all celestial dragons? Im suppressed his anger and said, You said just now that the two unnamed subordinates around the five emperor Liu Oxing also have the strength to challenge Marine Admiral. The five elders trembled. Yes, Lord Im, Kaido. Liu Oxing, three disasters, and now two more people. Im's voice with infinite killing intent said, Let the hundred beasts continue to develop like this, and the top combat power will be more than the world government. The five of you, 
after taking out the Whitebeard Pirates tomorrow. The main goal in the future is to destroy the Beast's Pirates. In order to accomplish this goal, I allow you to conduct world conscription to add more combat power to the government. The five elders shouted, Yes, Lord Im, 35. The five retreated. The marine world conscription move seems to have been put on the agenda. Add, the other end, the straw hat Luffy's body, which was blown away by the bear, flew all day and night before it landed on Baldigo, the White Earth Island of the Revolutionary Army headquarters. A patrolling Revolutionary Army soldier was dozing off when Luffy hit him on the head. Ah, who is it who attacked me? The soldier turned pale in shock and hurriedly took up his weapon. It was found to be a corpse. Yes, the bones were exposed at the sight of the horrific X scar on Luffy's chest. The soldier immediately thought that Luffy was already dead. What an unlucky bastard, who was thrown from the sky when he died. The soldier exclaimed, however, you are lucky enough to hit a good-hearted person like me, so it's okay to help you find a good place to bury it. The soldier clapped his hands, dragged Luffy. Wang Hao, up, and planned to find a place to bury him. On the road, just happened to meet Chief of Staff Sabo. Sabo asked, What are you holding on to? Xiobing Kaidos, Oh, it's a corpse that fell from the sky. I want to bury him. A corpse from the sky? 35. Sabo became curious and came to Luffy. The moment he saw Luffy's body, he was shocked. Intuitively, he and this man seemed to have a very close relationship. Sabo's head suddenly became painful. He suffered an accident when he was a child, lost his memory and forgot his previous three brothers with Luffy and Ace. But the moment he saw Luffy's face, his long-cherished memories suddenly came up. I remembered, I'm Sabo, I'm Luffy and Ace's brother Sabo. After a severe headache, Sabo finally remembered everything. And looking at Luffy's body that seemed to be dead, Sabo suddenly collapsed. Luffy, wake up, I'm Sabo, your sworn brother, you must not die. 164. Dragon's shock and speculation, Garp's worry, summit war begins. Add, Sabo's eyes are red and his heart is like fire. He finally recalled the memory of the past, but his brother Luffy died? No, how can this be? Sabo is in excruciating pain. But then, his observation Haki, vaguely felt a pulse beating. Sabo is overjoyed, Luffy isn't dead yet. Sabo wept with joy. I knew you wouldn't die so easily, before, among the three of us, you were the one with the greatest life. Sabo, Ace, and Luffy are three brothers. Although Sabo and Ace were stronger when they were young, Luffy is the first choice in terms of a degree of fate. After all, Luffy is often thrown into the abyss or primeval forest by Garp for brutal training of varying degrees of difficulty. If you were an ordinary person, you would have died 800 times earlier, but this kid Luffy came back alive every time. Sabo wiped away tears and began to scrutinize Luffy for signs of life. The pulse is very weak, and emergency treatment must be carried out, otherwise it is still life-threatening. What should I do? I'm not a doctor. By the way, Mr. Long, Mr. Long must have a way. 35. Sabo hurriedly picked up Luffy and went to the office of Long the leader of the Revolutionary Army. Long's office, several Revolutionary Army guarders, including the second sister-in-law Koala are also present. Everyone was shocked to see Sabo holding a bloody straw hat guy. Koala asked, who, was injured so badly? Before 263 waited for Sabo to answer, a shocked voice with a hint of worry and anger suddenly sounded, Luffy. But it was their boss, Monkey D. Long. Sabo was stunned and asked, Mr. Long, do you know Luffy? The dragon left Windmill Village before Luffy was born, so no one, including Luffy himself, knew that the dragon was his father. This secret, it is estimated that only Garp knows. Ad Long is worthy of being the leader of the Revolutionary Army and the number one enemy of the world government. He is wise and calm. Even when he saw his own son who was dying, he quickly suppressed the stirring emotions. Long said in a low voice, Luffy is my son, I haven't told you yet. When these words came out, everyone was shocked, especially Sabo. He is more in a trance. He is Luffy's sworn brother. After losing his memory, he was adopted by Luffy's father. This is the bond that never stops. We'll talk about these things later. It's important to save Luffy first, bring Luffy to me, and call the medical team at the same time. The dragon's orders are methodical. As a leader, he is rational enough and extremely powerful. The dragon's fruit ability is also quite special. It seems that it can control wind and rain, and it is a terrible ability that is enough to match earthquakes and magma. Under the emergency treatment of the elite medical team of the Long Revolutionary Army, Luffy's pulse became stable, and he gradually, Bife, had a heartbeat and breathing. Of course, this is mainly due to the invincible vitality of its magical beast species, the sun god Nika fruit. But the X-shaped scar on his chest could not heal. After all, it was cut by Yammo and could never be eliminated. The scar looks exactly like the one Ake I knew inflicted in the original book. Luffy woke up briefly. When he woke up, he murmured, abominable five emperors dot 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 my companions, then fainted again. This halo was only awakened after five days, and it was destined that the summit war and many major events, the straw hat boy would no longer be able to participate. However, the words Luffy murmured when he briefly woke up made long, 
Sabo and Koala all look at each other. Sabo clenched his fists and gritted his teeth. It was the five Emperor Liu Oxing who injured Luffy. Koala recalled Dress Rosa, the terrifying man in the mask of the evil spirit Brajna. When he raised his hand, he took off Lamingo's head, and the rest of the group, including the Revolutionary Army, the Marines, the World Government, and the other three four Emperor's regiments, were all tricked. That is a man whose strength and scheming are terrifying beyond description. Add. Koala took a deep breath and said, Why did that man kill Luffy? Compared to a big man like him, Luffy is just a new pirate. Sabo said bitterly, Kaido of the Beast's goal is to be the Pirate King, and so is Luffy. That guy is Kaido's son-in-law, so what's so strange about Luffy? No, it's not that simple. 39. However, the dragon shook his head, his eyes revealing a deep expression. This sea wants to be the Pirate King's pirates, like the Crucian carp crossing the river, there are as many as the hair of a cow, and it is impossible for a hundred beasts to kill everyone. I'm afraid that man was eyeing Luffy because of Luffy's straw hat and Nika fruit. Sabo and Koala expressed doubts. The straw hat is easy to understand, after all, it was given by the red-haired Shanks, and it contains the will of the previous One Piece Roger. But what happened to Nika fruit, didn't Luffy eat Paramecia rubber fruit? Long explained. The real name of rubber fruit is Zone, Human Fruit mythical beast species, Nika form, also known as the sun god, and is known as the fruit that will eventually change the world. The world government has been looking for this fruit for 800 years. They found it once, but it was snatched by the redhead shanks, and then accidentally eaten by Luffy.35. To be honest, it's been a while since Luffy went to sea. The world government has not attacked Luffy, but let the hundred beasts take the lead, which I find very strange. 35. This point not only long felt strange, Liu Oxing also felt strange. The five elders who are immortal, since they knew that Luffy's rubber fruit is Nika fruit, why didn't they kill Luffy in the cradle? Let Luffy make a fuss about an eyes lobby, then impel down in summit war? At that time, send CPO or Marine Admiral directly and kill Luffy, wouldn't that be the end? However, he added a bounty of several hundred million, which was developed by Luffy in the straw hat. At the end of the Wanokini incident, he felt that something was wrong. It can only be said that the five elders are five big idiots with water in their heads. They are idlers every day and they don't do a serious thing, including Zabai 2 into Shikai Bukai, forcing away the respected former Admiral Zephyr. Not long after that, the Shikai Bukai system was abolished, and Shikai Bukai was arrested. This operation is so smart. Anyway, Liu Oxing looked down on the bullshit five elders at all, and the five immortals were still the same as celestial dragons, so die sooner rather than later. Add, while the revolutionary army was concentrating on taking care of Luffy, who had passed out in a straw hat, Straw Hat Luffy's grandfather Hero Garp, also came to Impel Down. With the approval of Marine Marshal Sengoku, Garp made his way to the sixth floor of Impel Down, Eternal Hell. Firefist Tace was tied there by the sea stone chain, his head was drooping, and he looked in a state of embarrassment. Not far from the Firefist Ace, there is another blue fat man tied up, it is the sea man Jinbai. Ace heard the movement, looked up, saw Garp, was shocked, and said sadly, Smelly old man, why are you coming to see me at this time? Garp sat down in front of Ace his old face full of sadness, you still don't want to call me grandpa, although you are Roger's son, but the old man raised you with his own hands, you are the grandson of the old man, just like Luffy, the old man wants to educate you two brothers into powerful sea soldiers, but you both choose to be pirates, ace, you are reduced to today's end, you can see how sad the old man is, 99, Garp burst into tears, ace was also very sad, and said in silence for a long time, this is the fate of my disgusting bloodline. Firefist Ace actually hates his own One Piece bloodline very much, and even has some kind of psychological shadow. This kind of shadow was not redeemed until he met his further white beard. Garp said, Tomorrow is the execution period, and the white beard pirates have already planned to raise the whole group to save you. Marine has gathered 100,000 troops to fight against the white beard pirates. This is an unprecedented summit war. No matter what the outcome, times will change, the world will run wild and no one can control it. Garp still had a lot to say. For example, the increasingly aggressive posture of the Hundred Beasts seems to be the intention of occupying Whitebeard's territory, like Luffy in Seibadi Land, nearly killed by Kaido's son-in-law. Garp's heart was filled with grief and worry. He took the Firefist Ace back to Marine Headquarters. A huge battle on the top, a war that fills the world, has already kicked off. Dot 165. Whitebeard's selfishness, excited Kaido and the four emperors dispatched collectively, add, the Fishmen Island is 10,000 meters below the seabed, the Whitebeard pirates escaped New World's Marine's eyes and arrived here quietly, the Fishmen Island is Whitebeard's territory and is sheltered by Whitebeard, Neptune and Whitebeard, the kings of the Fishmen Island, and Roger, the long dead pirate king, have been friends for many years, after Whitebeard arrived here, he met with Neptune and learned that Jinbai was impulled by Marine because he did not want to be his enemy, Whitebeard sighed, Jinbai, also my son, if possible, 
I will rescue him too. But Whitebeard didn't believe it himself. In this all-out war with Marine, Whitebeard had already planned to die. Although the fairy bins that Marco brought back have healed most of his internal and external injuries, his stubborn heart disease still exists. Whitebeard had a premonition that his end was coming. It is better to die on the battlefield than to continue to survive. However, Whitebeard actually had a lot of selfishness in launching this summit war. Although he claims that no matter which son is executed, he will save him. But the importance of Firefist Ace in his mind is still unmatched by other sons. Whitebeard wants to push Ace to the position of Pirate King, which is something that all captains of the White Regiment, including Marco, as well as the 43 captains under the White Regiment, are well aware of it. Therefore, although these people were willing to follow Whitebeard to attack the Marine headquarters, those captains who were not very close to Ace were somewhat resentful. Think that Whitebeard is eccentric, risking their lives to save Ace. A typical example is the giant Vortex Spider Squad. This laid a hidden danger for the later Ake Ainu to divide the White group. After all, it is also because Whitebeard is really old. His energy in all aspects has dropped greatly, and he has not been able to detect the psychological state of his sons in time. Neptune said, it was Jin by his own choice. 99. After a moment of silence, Whitebeard said, Add, Nipton, after this war, for the future of the Fishmen Island, if any other four emperors want to bless you, you may as well agree. Neptune was taken aback. What does Whitebeard mean by this? Did Whitebeard have a premonition that the White Corps would lose this war? Let the Fishmen Island plan ahead? Neptune couldn't help but feel a little sad. Roger, Whitebeard, good pirates like them who are willing to shelter the Fishmen Island, are there really any more? Speaking of which, the Fishmen Island is also one of the allied countries of the world government, and it stands to reason that they should not seek the protection of pirates. No matter what, the government and marine don't care if they live or die. Celestial dragons, the nobles of the world, also like to catch mermen and murlocs as slaves. And as the first half and second half of the Grand Line must pass through, countless pirates will act recklessly on the Fishmen Island. The people of the Fishmen Island have always lived in dire straits, and in desperation, they could only take shelter in the four emperors of the New World. Fortunately. Roger and Whitebeard were great people and helped the Fishmen Island a lot. However, Roger died young, and Whitebeard didn't seem to be able to live much longer. Where is the future of the Fishmen Island? If Liu Oxing knew about Neptune's concerns, he would definitely pat his chest and solemnly promise. Don't worry, for the sake of your daughter, Princess Shira Hashi, anyone who dares to harm the Fishmen Island again will be against me. The Five Emperors and the Hundred Beasts. These are all later stories. It is only said that after Whitebeard met Neptune, he coated all the ships on the Fishmen Island. Whitebeard intends to set off from the bottom of the ocean, heading to Marinford, to catch Sengoku by surprise. Whitebeard's strategy was really good, and it did give Sengoku and Marine a slap in the face. It is a pity that the gap in hard power between the two sides is too large, and it cannot be reversed by a little trick. At the same time, Wanokuni, the strongest creature, Kaido of the Beasts, with a beaming face, raised his mace, and shouted, Little ones! Go and take the old man's place with Whitebeard. Ad Kaido was so excited and excited. Back on the rocks, the one he wanted to challenge and beat the most was Whitebeard. He also played a few games against Whitebeard in his youth, but lost. After coming to Wanokuni and having the title of the strongest creature, I never played against Whitebeard. Whitebeard is called the strongest man in the world, and he is called the strongest creature. Kaido is not convinced. The strongest creature should be stronger than the strongest man, right? Forget it. There is no chance to verify. Take Whitebeard's turf to prove that Hikaido of the Beasts is the victor in the end. Tens of thousands of pirates in Wanokuni port chanted Kaido's reputation in unison. Kaido is getting more and more happy. Although these troops were only about 10,000 people, they were not many, but they included 3,000 confederates. To the endowed army, everyone has eaten artificial devil fruit and monster cells, and they all have the strength of no less than a bounty of over 100 million. This is extremely scary. No four emperors regiment can have such a strong person. In this sea, it is estimated that only Marine in the world government can gather so much combat power. Kaido, who cherishes talents, looked at the talents under his hands, and laughed more and more, and said to Quinn and Jack the Drow, who were left and right, dot, ask for flowers. This is all thanks to my son-in-law Liu Oxing. Without Liu Oxing's monster cells, gravity training room, and other heaven-defying inventions, how could the strength of the Hundred Beasts group increase to such a degree? Kaido, who was gearing up, gave an order, go. More than 10,000 beast-like groups of beasts set off for the Whitebeard territory. At the same time, the nations are over there. The aunt also led more than 20,000 subordinates. Only category was left to watch the house, and the other three generals and children of good strength followed her to fight. Speaking of which, the aunt asked Liu Oxing to make a huge potion last time, and the king of biceps that Liu Oxing gave can indeed turn a person into a giant, but the special IQ turned into a negative number. It even knocked down auntie's cake island. 
The angry aunt is called a kitty Ashingyan. Add, after paying a price of tens of billions of baileys, this is the result. But the aunt can't take Liu a crossing. The angry and aggrieved aunt put the abacus of recovering the loss on a snatch of Whitebeard's territory this time. The other end. Red hair pirate's territory. Redhead had planned to go to Marineford to save Ace. Of course. He didn't want to fight with Marine, but mainly wanted to mediate the conflict between Whitebeard and Marine, and wanted to ask both sides to give him face. As a redhead with the strongest conquerors in the world, and his identity is extremely mysterious and special, his face is very big. Even the five elders had to sell him face. But after learning that Kaido is teaming up with Big Mom to plot Whitebeard's territory, the redhead decides to stop them. Beckman took a breath. If it's just Kaido or Big Mom, it's not difficult to stop Whitebeard's territory with our strength. But if the two four emperors join forces, this time things will probably become very difficult. How could the redhead not know this? His brows were furrowed, and he always felt that there were two invisible hands in the shadows, taking everything into account, making everything extremely difficult. The redhead somehow remembered Hawkeye's evaluation of Liu Oxing, which was unfathomable. Could it be that man doing the trick? No, no way. How did that man know he was protecting Whitebeard's territory? Could it be that he really has the ability to predict the future? The redhead, laughing at his ridiculous idea, sighed to Beckman, you can only take one step at a time. The big geese are in action. Marine is on guard at Marinford. The four emperors of the new world were dispatched collectively, and Liu Oxing, who has everything in his hands, has passed through any door and quietly arrived at the great underwater prison, Impel Down, Gwing. 166. Bloody killing. Impel Down becomes the real hell of death. Add, Impel Down, known as the Iron Wall, the strongest prison in the world, can never be destroyed. For hundreds of years, only the legendary pirate Golden Lion, as famous as Roger and Whitebeard, has escaped from Impel Down. But even so, the Golden Lion paid the price with two legs. When Liu Oxing walked out of any door, he looked at the Impel Down entrance, which looked like a hell castle. On the sea outside the entrance, there was a fleet comparable to the size of Buster Call. Not only that, Impel Down is located in the Calm Belt and the seabed is full of countless huge sea kings. It is not a special structure of ships, and it is impossible to get close to here. Even the Oaksin couldn't help but sigh, Impel Down is indeed the world's number one prison. The Rabbit Well prison in Wanokuni is nothing compared to this place. Liu Oaksin, Zora, and Denil, as soon as they arrived at the square at the entrance of the first floor of Impel Down, were discovered by the guards who were always on guard. The doorman was clearly taken aback. Why did a door suddenly appear in the air? Three strange men came out of the door, although surprised. This prison guard can guard the gate of Impel Down, and he is not a fool. He quickly responded with 263, took up his weapon and aimed at the three Liu Oxing, and asked loudly, Who are you? Is there a warrant from Marshal Sengoka here? At the same time, the prison guard, also called his companion, immediately reported the news of the three strangers coming from Impel Down to the warden and deputy warden. The companion did not dare to neglect, and hurriedly dialed the phone bug. The person he allocated was Hannibal, the deputy warden, because the warden, Lord Magellan, should be in the toilet at this time, or it would be better not to disturb him. In fact, the person he should allocate to is the great guard Sha Aru of Cheng, who is as famous as Magellan's armor. However, the chief warden Sha Aru was imprisoned by the Magellan warden for murdering prisoners without authorization. The deputy warden over there, Hannibal, got the news and immediately knew that the three people outside the prison were definitely not good people. Because if the marine or the government came, it was impossible for Sengoku not to notify them in advance. Like the previous pirate empress and the hero Gop. Impel Down was prepared early. Who is it that can pass through the calm belt, and can hide so many eyeliners on the sea, quietly invade the gate of Impel Down? 39. Hannibal suddenly felt his hair stand on end. Although the guards at the gate reported that there were only three people, Hannibal's hunch told him that the three were by no means simple characters. Hannibal, who did not dare to neglect, immediately dispatched troops, and in a short period of time, he gathered nearly a thousand jailers and a bunch of ferocious beasts and monsters. Add, Hannibal, who still felt that the troops were not enough asked another person to go to the toilet to inform Magellan of the matter. Let Magellan finish his diarrhea quickly and go to the impel down gate. Finished, Hannibal rushed to the entrance with more than a thousand fierce subordinates. And this time, Liu Xing smiled and answered the guard's question. I'm sorry, but I don't have a warrant from Sengoku. I don't think any warrant is needed, though, as this place will soon cease to exist. 9. The gate guard was shocked when he heard the words, and stammered, You dot 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 you really are intruders. As soon as he finished speaking, a thunderbolt suddenly descended, splitting him into coke. Liu Xing walked slowly into Impel Down as if he had never seen him, as if he was walking in a leisurely garden. En retracted the palm that released thunder, and followed behind. In front of others, he is the god of thunder who controls Tanwai. But in front of Liu Xing, he is just a sidekick, a dog that can be pinched to death at any time. The sea stone collar on his neck and the scar on his chest remind Enlil all the time. Zora also followed Liu Xing. Compared to Enlil, Zora is noticeably freer, 
without any restraints. A man like Zora, since he has identified Liu Oxing, will never betray, even if he dies, he will never be shaken. Such loyalty is not only because Liu Oxing is Zora's benefactor, but also allows him to gain a powerful force by leaps and bounds. Moreover, Liu Oxing is also half of Zora's master. Zora's Haki aspect is the inspiration given to him by Liu Oxing. The three Shishiran stepped into the interior of Impel Down. The hellish aura that pervaded the surroundings not only did not frighten them, but made them excited. Zora, in particular, already had a beastly warlike light in his eyes. Impel Down, the world's largest prison, must also have very strong swordsmen. After practicing for so long in the gravity training room of Anishima, Zora wanted to test his training results. Last time against Pluton Rayleigh. The time was too short, not enough fun. Zora is hoping to find a suitable trial opponent at Impel Down. Add, on the way. He soon met more than a thousand guards led by Hannibal. Seeing Liu Oxing and the three easily enter Impel Down, Hannibal's unease became stronger, shouted, Who the hell are you? Enel sneers contemptuously, Ignorant mortals, don't they kneel down when they see God? Boom, terrible thunder rippling around him. Frightened Hannibal and other guards almost urinated. The power of thunder and lightning. The defiant guy actually masters the power of thunder and lightning. But his appearance is extremely unfamiliar. How can such a strong man remain anonymous on the sea? And didn't care whether they were shocked or not. He rushed into the jailer and started massacres. Zora also drew three knives to join the fray. The two are like wolves entering the flock, and the jailer of Impel Down and the ferocious beast are not their enemies at all. However, there are too many prisoners in Impel Down, and each floor has a lot of troops. It is a waste of time to kill such a layer by layer. Liu Xing himself is too lazy to do it. His consistent principle is that if you can't do it, you won't do it, and if you can let your subordinates do it, let your subordinates do it. Yes, here. Just try the power of the thing. Liu Xing suddenly thought of a way to easily destroy the Impel Down guards without having to do it himself. He took out ten glassware bottles containing green potion from his pocket. It was the super potion king of biceps that aren't loved and hated. Liu Xing has not been drunk by members of the Hundred Beasts since it was made. After all, Liu Xing didn't want his own territory to be destroyed by an insane giant. But here is Impel Down. So there is no such concern at all. Liu Xing grabbed ten jailers and threw the super potion into their mouths. Roar. The next second, a shrill roar resounded throughout the impel down. The bodies of these ten jailers began to swell rapidly, and in the blink of an eye, they reached a size of several hundred meters. Ad collapsed the roof of the first floor of impel down. The ten giants fell into a state of madness, frantically destroying everything in front of them. Soon, the impel down floor was completely destroyed. More than a thousand jailers led by Hannibal were beaten to death by several giants. Hannibal was horrified, his eyes were split open, and he was completely speechless in fear. He shivered as if he wanted to escape and continue to resist, but was directly trampled to death by a giant. Liu Xing effortlessly eliminated all the enemies on the first floor of Impel Down, and then entered the second floor. The ten giants continued to wreak havoc. Whether it was the jailer or the prisoner, they were all shot to death, their brains burst, and blood flowed freely. Enel was a little terrified when he saw this terrifying scene, and his awe of Liu Xing became more and more profound. Enel cautiously respectfully said, Master, don't you still need these prisoners to attack the Seibadi archipelago? Liu Xing didn't seem to feel the tragic killing in front of him at all, and said in a light tone, The prisoners on the first two floors of Impel Down are too weak, the bounty is less than 50 million, and the wicked who have no use value, there is no need to live. 39. Enl shrank his neck in fear. Thinking about it, he was also an out-and-out -out villain on Sky Island. And the reason why he was not killed at 5.4 is because he still has value for the young master. Enl couldn't help feeling fortunate. Fortunately. He ate thunder fruit, otherwise he would have gone to hell to see Hades. The prisoners and jailers on the second floor of Impel Down were all wiped out, and the thick blood even penetrated through the floor and infiltrated into the third floor called Starvation Hell. Impel Down on the third floor is a criminal with a bounty of more than 50 million, barely qualified to be Liu Oxing's subordinate. Liu Oxing came to the third floor. The faces of the three tier criminals at the moment revealed unparalleled fear. Although they didn't see what happened above, but seeing the endless blood seeping from the ceiling, they also knew that the man who suddenly appeared in front of them must have blood with the first two floors of Impel Down. These vicious criminals are like powerless babies at this time, their faces are pale and their bodies are trembling, waiting for the butcher knife to cut them down. However, Liu Xing has a kind expression on his face, don't be afraid, everyone, I'm here to save you from the sea of misery. Eat these monster cells and survive, just follow me in the future. 167 dog leash for criminals, Magellan the Furious, add, the fourth floor of Impel Down is the office of Warden Magellan, Magellan is in the toilet carrying out the three most important things in life, prison guards, ordered by Hannibal, came to report that three people had invaded Impel Down, are there enough three, how did you get close to Impel Down when the security was heavily guarded, Magellan knew that this was extraordinary, but the side effects of the poisonous fruit made his stomach full of meat and ate elements, and it really couldn't be separated from the toilet.
He asked the prison guard to go first, and he would come later. He slammed down the toilet with force. At the same time, he took out a video phone bug and planned to see the situation outside. In the hole impel down, except for the cold hell phone bug that couldn't survive, there were surveillance phone bugs everywhere. For someone like Magellan, who spends most of their time in the toilet 24 hours a day, it is of course necessary to install a monitoring device in the toilet so that he can check the situation inside the impel down at all times. Turn on the video phone bugs screen. Magellan's pupils contracted suddenly. He first looked at the first floor of the impel down entrance. The screen showed that the first floor was completely destroyed, and even the surrounding iron fences were twisted off. The bodies of thousands of jailers were lying there. One of them is Hannibal. In an instant, rising anger surged from Magellan's chest, and after seeing the scene on the 18th second floor, this anger has reached its peak. On the second floor, both the prisoners and the guards were killed. Rivers of blood, corpses everywhere. Magellan hurried to the third floor and finally saw the three culprits. It's him, Yu Ang Liu Oxing. No wonder he has such strength. Magellan recognized Liu Oxing at a glance, as the warden of Impel Down. The information he got was first-hand inside Marine. Marine had already photographed Liu Oxing's real face at Seibadi Archipelago, and Marshal Sengoku also called in person, asking Magellan to be extra careful. Ad did not expect. After the five emperors Liu Oxing left from Seibadi Archipelago, he actually came to Impel Down. But what happened? Magellan has clearly set up so many sentries and eyeliners in the surrounding waters, even if there is surveillance in the sky. How come no one has noticed it in advance? Let Liu Ang Liu Oxing break into Impel Down so easily? But Magellan had run out of time to think. The first and second floors were destroyed, even Hannibal was killed, and the boundless anger made him almost lose his mind. He didn't even wipe his ass, he just put on his pants. With a demon-like killing intent on his face, poisonous gas spread all over his body and he went to the third floor step by step. The third floor is starvation hell. The bounty of criminals here is more than 50 million, and their strength is still good, and they are eligible to become Liu Oxing subordinates. But because of lack of food and water all the year round, they are all skinny. Seeing those ten giants, they were even more terrified, as if a gust of wind could blow them down. At this time, I heard Liu Oxing's kind voice saying, Eat these monster cells, and the ones who survive will be my subordinates from now on, and you can get out of the sea of misery. The criminals on the third floor immediately glowed with ecstasy. To be the subordinate of such a terrifying big man, and to be able to get out of this hellish prison, is simply the best. Without any hesitation, the criminals swallowed the oddly shaped purple flesh that fell under their feet. Ah! 99. The screams immediately resounded through starvation hell. Bang bang bang. I don't know how many criminals couldn't bear the side effects of the monster cells, so they exploded and died. And those who survived, all had a surge of breath and their strength instantly reached the level of over 100 million from the original 50 million. And their original skinny bodies have become as thick and huge as monsters. Ha ha ha. Lao Tzu has recovered, and Lao Tzu has become stronger. This unprecedented power makes Lao Tzu feel like a dream. After all, these people are all evil villains. Ad suddenly gained a powerful force, and immediately swelled. The eyes became extremely vicious, and the eyes looking at Liu Oxing were full of cruelty and smirk. With power. Why should they still be Liu Oxing's subordinates? A criminal with a strong breath took the lead and couldn't help it, rushing towards Liu Oxing. I'm a pirate who is famous in the sea. How can I be someone else's subordinate? I blame you for making us stronger. But before the man rushed to Liu Oxing, he was smashed into scum by a sturdy thunderbolt. Enel sneers disdainfully. It's just that you are all mortal ants who are frogs in the well, and you dare to be disrespectful to God. You just don't know how to live or die. Liu Oxing chuckled lightly. No, you can't blame them. After all, they are all villains. The state is easy to change, and the nature is hard to change. Liu Oxing looked at the surviving criminals who had doubled their breath, and still had a kind expression on their faces. You guys are getting stronger now, come quickly if you want to kill me, as for the rest of you who don't have the guts to kill me, I don't care if you really surrender or not, just stick this electromagnet around your neck. This electromagnet, a device developed by Liu Oxing based on Thunderfruit, contains a high-intensity electric current. Liu Oxing just needs to hold down the switch in his hand. No matter how far apart the electromagnet is, the high-intensity current of the electromagnet will immediately destroy his inner nerves, and the gods will not be able to save him. Liu Oxing didn't expect the criminals of Impel Down from the very beginning to surrender sincerely. Even if he really surrendered, he didn't believe it. Wearing a dog leash is the safest. Anyway, they are helping the villains and using them as waste. There is no room for these criminals to refuse and those who are unwilling to plug in the electromagnet are directly killed by Enel's lightning strike. Seeing so many people, Enel was chained like him, and he felt a lot of balance all of a sudden. These people will be yours from now on, Enel. 39. Liu Xing's indifferent voice made Enel even more ecstatic. With Enel's ruthless nature, 
There's no better way to lead these villains. End of the third floor. Liu Xing has harvested hundreds of subordinates with a bounty of over 100 million. The number was much less than what he had expected at the beginning. Add, mainly, the criminals in Impel Down are tortured every day, and their constitutions have become too weak, and most of them can't bear the side effects of monster cells. But this is not related to the 277 series. Hundreds of troops with bounty over 100 million are not a lot, not to mention there are more powerful criminals on the fourth and fifth floors. Impel Down is a tower-like structure with six floors. The further down the criminals are, the stronger the criminals are, and the corresponding numbers are also smaller. When Liu Oxing came to the fourth floor, he met Magellan. Behind Magellan walks a terrifying poisonous dragon. The troublesome man is finally here. Liu Oxing frowned slightly. Magellan is not weak enough to compete with Marine Admiral. Magellan's voice full of endless chills said, Five Emperor Liu Oxing, today, I will let you try the torture of hell. Poison Dragon, 35. Magellan didn't say much at all and directly urged the poisonous dragon to kill Liu Oxing and his party. This is how he dealt with Blackbeard in the original book, and almost wiped out the Blackbeard pirates. As a traveler, Liu Oxing would not be prepared for this. He walked a little and then teleported into the distance. Against Magellan, melee combat is the dumbest choice, range attacks are the wisest. This job is of course handed over to Enl, who can launch lightning at a long distance. Enl and Magellan fight immediately. Lightning and poisonous gas roared. Terror boundless. Magellan is not alone. Knowing the intelligence of Sabadi, he knew the terrifying strength of the three Liu are crossing. So he released Sha Aru, who had been imprisoned by him earlier, hoping that Sha Aru would help him. At the same time, he also had people contact Marshal Sengoku at Marine Headquarters to report the Impel Down emergency. 168. The arbitrary door makes Sengoku's mentality collapse. Where can there be so many heaven defying inventions? Add Marine Headquarters, Marineford. 100,000 sailors gathered in Marineford's Harbor Square, ready to go. From top to bottom, the headquarters building with the word Marine written on it is the most eye catching and the tallest building in Marineford. Below the headquarters building is the execution platform of the towering Fire Fist Ace. There were only four people on the execution platform. A dejected Fire Fist Ace kneeling there, wearing a sea stone chain. After that, there were two executioners with halberds in their hands. The tall and majestic figure standing next to him stands at the apex of this sea. As the commander of marine, the strongest force on the sea, Sengoku of the Buddha. Below the execution stand are the seats of the three admirals, Kizaru, Akei Ainu, Okiji, as the highest combat power of the world government. The existence of the three of them is the biggest backbone of the 100,000 marines and the biggest enemy of the Whitebeard pirates. Three admiral seats further down, is the high platform where the seven warlords of the sea stand. The tyrant bear who has completely lost all affection. The expressionless, grim eagle eye, the most beautiful woman in the world, the pirate queen with slender jade legs and beautiful eyes that is so cold that she refuses to be thousands of miles away, Gecko Moria, grinning, with excitement and eerie gleam in his eyes, and finally, the mentally handicapped white too with a drooping nose and carrying his mother, Miss Biogen, on his shoulders. Speaking of which, isn't white too claiming to be Whitebeard's son? Why is he an enemy of Whitebeard? The reason lies in the provocation of Miss Middle. Bajin. Bajin believes that Whitebeard attaches more importance to Fire Fist Ace than his biological son Edward Webull. Therefore, White too had to prove to Whitebeard that he was stronger than that Fire Fist Ace. When Whitebeard dies, he will inherit Whitebeard's estate. Below the Shikibukai location are dozens of naval headquarters elite Vice Admiral, including several tens of meters tall giant Vice Admiral, Cranes, Flying Squirrels, Hina, and even Smoker, who was supposed to be in the G5 branch, were among them. But Virgo was not there. As Liu Oxing's undercover in Marine, Virgo's mission is to become Marine Admiral after this war, so he doesn't really need to fight with Whitebeard. The reason Smoker is here is to hone his strength in this top battle. Add, Tasha Guy died, and he was also killed by Virgo in the G5 branch. And he needed as much as he wanted. This is because the strength is too weak. Smoker swears he's going to get stronger than that damned Virgo. The huge Marineford, where 100,000 people gathered, didn't make a sound. It was extremely quiet. Everyone is nervous. They are waiting, waiting for the arrival of the strongest man in the world. On the execution stand, Sengoku's heart is far less peaceful than the surface. He has many worries, worrying about where Whitebeard would come from. Needless to say, two other concerns. One is the inexplicable disappearance of Blackbeard from Marinford. At the time of the Shikibukai meeting, Blackbeard was still there. But today, on the day of the execution, Blackbeard disappeared without a trace. Sengoku is extremely annoyed, and when this war is over, he must arrest the unbelievable and shameless Blackbeard. Another bigger concern is Liu Oxing, who left Sebadi. Sengoku always felt that Liu Oxing's swaggering appearance in Sebadi was very strange, and he always felt that something was wrong. But I can't think of anything. Sengoku has a headache, but the war with Whitebeard is imminent, and he can only keep these worries in his heart. 
He took a deep breath, picked up the phone bug, and made a majestic voice, everyone, and people from all over the world, today is the day we marine publicly execute Whitebeard's second division captain, Firefist Ace tilde exclamation mark 35. And why did the old man and others do this? Because the identity of Firefist Ace is not just as simple as the leader of the white team. Firefist Ace, tell everyone, tell the world, what is your true identity, whose bloodline is in your body? Five, Ace, who was kneeling on the ground, trembled violently, gritted her teeth and said nothing. Sengoku yells at the phone bug, your real identity is actually the son of One Piece Gold D. Roger. One stone creates a thousand waves. Marinford's 100,000 sailors were shocked. People all over the world were in an uproar. No wonder Marine did not hesitate to fight Whitebeard and publicly execute Firefist Ace, who turned out to be the son of One Piece. This is amazing. Firefist Ace roared in denial. Add, no, I'm not that bastard's son. There's only one daddy in me, and that's Whitebeard. 99. Sengoku snorted coldly. It's useless if you don't want to admit it. The blood on your body belongs to the Pirate King. You are a born criminal. It was your father Roger who started this chaotic era of pirates, and will end this era of pirates with the blood of your own son. The purpose of him and the five elders requesting the public execution of Ace is to shock the pirates of the world and make them honest. Even the son of One Piece has to die. How dare you dare to challenge the authority of the world government and Marine. Sengoku was about to continue to say something. Per Per Tilda. Suddenly, the confidential phone worm on his waist rang. With the phone bug that Sengoku was still carrying at this time, one can imagine the importance of this phone bug. Sengoku glanced at it, and his heart skipped a beat. It's a call from Impel Down. Is there something wrong with Impel Down? Sengoku took off the loudspeaker bug in his hand, stayed away from the Firefist Ace, and then whispered to the phone bug around his waist. On the other side of the phone worm, came the Impel Down jailer's urgent voice. Marshal Sengoku is in trouble. Five Emperor Liu Oxing passed through a strange door and suddenly descended Impel Down. He used a strange potion to create ten supergiants hundreds of meters in size, and those giants destroyed Impel down the first floor, second floor and third floor. Most of the criminals on the third floor are even more mutinous. They surrendered to the five emperors Liu Oxing, and the latter strengthened them a lot with monster cells. Now they are on the fourth floor with Warden Magellan, Chief Warden Sher, Aru, 35, Marshal Sengoku. Please send troops for reinforcements. Otherwise the whole impel down dot 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 the whole underwater prison will be destroyed. The jailer's words made Sengoku like a thunderbolt on the ground, causing Sengoku's mind to go blank for a moment. The ears seem to be deaf, and the tinnitus is full of buzzing. No other sound was heard. Marshal Sengoku, Marshal Sengoku! Exclamation mark. Inside the phone bug was the anxious voice of the jailer. 66 inches what's wrong with you? Ah. 35. The jailer suddenly screamed and the phone was hung up. Only then did Sengoku wake up. His old eyes were bloodshot, and his body was shaking slightly. Needless to say, the jailer who reported the letter must have been killed. Add, hateful, hateful. Five Emperor Liu Oxing, the son-in-law of Kaido of the Beasts. How did he get impelled down? That strange door, another heaven-defying invention, and the potion that turns people into giants of hundreds of meters. Where did so many heaven-defying inventions come from? Why are you still not a human being? Sengoku's mentality is broken. He can't wait to run up to Liu Oxing immediately, and take a look at Liu Oxing's brain to see what is inside. Although Sengoku deliberately stayed away from the center of the execution platform, the conversation with the jailer was very small. But after all, the execution platform was the focus of the entire battlefield, and many people found that Sengoku's face was not right. Crane is one of them. As Marine veteran and general staff, Jiri has the qualifications and qualifications to inquire about Sengoku. So the crane went to the execution platform. Sengoku whispered to her about the impel down. The crane was obviously also pale in shock, and even his face was bloodless. She has seen Liu Oxing's strength with her own eyes in Sabadi, and she can compete with the explosive Pluton really as an overlord, and she is definitely one of the top powerhouses in this world. Liu Oxing's two followers, a three-sword swordsman, and a thunderfruit capable person, are also incomparably powerful. Impel down is dangerous. Crane said urgently, we have to send someone to support. 95. Sengoku sighed. At this time, Marine has no extra manpower, let alone it's too late. 95. Then what to do? Don't you just ignore the impel down side? Trust Magellan. He's not a man to lose easily. Sengoku is still very confident in Magellan's strength. But Magellan's opponent this time is Liu Oxing. The five emperors who made his Sengoku mentally shattered with endless tricks. Sengoku thought for a while and said, Xio, you go to marry E. Joyce in person, tell the five elders and Commander Kong about this, and let them send someone to support Impel Down. Five elders has CP0 next to him, and Kong has two alternates, Admiral Mo Mousagi and Char Dolphin. This is the hidden power of the world government. Crane, aware of the urgency of the situation, hurries to marry E. Joyce. Some sharp-eyed people couldn't help but feel a drum in their hearts when they saw the great staff officer he left with a lot of worry. Could it be that there was a major accident on Marine's side? 169. 
Blackbeard is stunned, obviously it is Lao Tzu first, Wu Huang Liu Xing, Ad, Sengoku tells Zhuru to go to Mari E. Joy's to report. He himself took a few deep breaths, suppressed the impatience and worry in his heart, and restored his majestic expression with a face that it was as deep as water. No matter what happens elsewhere, the most important thing for Marinford at this moment is to guard against the Whitebeard pirates. Sengoku returned to the center of the execution platform, standing solemnly as long as he stood there. He was Marine's backbone. If he doesn't mess up, Marine doesn't mess up. If he loses an inch, let alone impel down can't save him, Marinford may be defeated here. Sengoku, who is known as the resourceful general, will definitely not make such a low-level mistake. He put all the rest of his tumultuous thoughts behind him, thinking only of where the Whitebeard pirates would invade Marinford. Why until now, the eyeliner sent by Marine has not been reported back. Could it be that the Whitebeard pirates also have a strange door like the Five Emperor Liu Oxing? No, it can't be. Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts are not friendly. The information from New World said that Kaido and Big Mom had joined forces to collude with the Whitebeard site. The Redhead Shanks seemed to stop them. All four Four Emperors were dispatched. This was an unprecedented major event. In short, the relationship between the White Group and the Hundred Beast Group is very bad. Far from Kaido's grievance with Whitebeard on the Rock's ship, and recently Whitebeard's brother Kozuki Eden was killed by Kaido. It is not an exaggeration to say that the two are like water and fire. As Kaido's son in law, Liu Oxing, the fifth emperor, would never hand over that strange door to Bei I Tuan. Not invading from the sea, not relying on that kind of strange door. And there is no movement in the sky. That leaves only one possibility. It's the bottom of the sea. The Whitebeard pirates will attack from the bottom of the sea. Sengoku finally thought of this, and he was planning to have people closely monitor the bottom of the sea. Golem Tilda. The originally calm sea suddenly appeared a string of bubbles. Immediately, a pirate ship floated up, followed by one after another. In the blink of an eye, Dozens of pirate ships suddenly appeared in front of 100,000 sailors. The sailors were astonished. Add, that's the Whitebeard pirate ship. Their boats are covered with membranes, and they are all advancing from the bottom of the sea. No wonder they can't be seen from the sea. At the moment when the sailors were shocked, more and bigger bubbles came up from the bottom of the sea. Halala Tilda. Huge waves gushed out, and some sailors who were too close to the coast could not dodge and were directly splashed with water. A ship far larger than other pirate ships appeared, and it is directly within the inner circle of the port, and it is only about a kilometer away from the location of the execution platform. Ordinary marine soldiers turned pale and terrified. This is the Moby Dick, the ship of Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. Dong dong dong. It seemed that in response to the panic of the sailors, a heavy sound of gold and iron came from the Moby Dick. An incomparably tall and majestic figure appeared on the deck. His upper body was naked, only wearing a white cloak. There are many scars on his chest, all left by legendary figures. These scars are the glory of this man as a pirate. He is the shock fruit capable, with the power to destroy the world. Whitebeard Edward Newgate. Whitebeard first glanced at Ace on the execution platform, then looked at Marine Sengoku, and grinned. I haven't seen you for decades, Sengoku. My dear son. How is it with you? In the face of 100,000 sailors, the top combat power of the sea, Whitebeard was still chatting and laughing. This kind of spirit of the Emperor at sea makes people feel intimidated from the bottom of their hearts. At the same moment that the Marine and Whitebeard pirates begin their official confrontation, Blackbeard, who had sneaked away from Marinford, was excitedly heading to impel down. Blackbeard couldn't help but get excited. He had been planning for decades aboard the Whitebeard, and it had finally begun. Kill Saki to take dark fruit, find a powerful partner. Catch a pirate with a bounty of over 100 million, and exchange Shikai Bukai with Marine. He tried his best to provoke the war between Marine and Whitebeard, and he used Shikai Bukai's identity to sneak in to impel down and conquer the horrific guys in the sixth floor eternal hell. Finally return to the battlefield and take advantage of Dark Fruit's special abilities to capture Whitebeard's shock fruit. That's what Blackbeard has been planning for decades. Add, Blackbeard felt that God was helping him, and his plans were going so well, because Blackbeard didn't expect that the former captain, Farfist Ace, would be stupid enough to come to him alone. Ace is the most eccentric son of Whitebeard and the biological son of Roger, the Pirate King. With such an identity, it is destined that there is no need for Blackbeard to provoke at all, and the Whitebeard pirates will have a war with Marine. Bife. And it is so. The scale of the war was greater than what Blackbeard had planned, and it was nothing short of epic. This is so perfect. Blackbeard's stomach burst with laughter. The White Regiment was going to have a top battle with Marine and Marine would definitely not have the energy to manage Impel down. And with the poor physical condition of Father Whitebeard, it is very likely that he will die. Thief ha ha ha. That way, hacking Impel down is a breeze, as is capturing the ability of the Whitebeard shock fruit. Is there anything more perfect in the world? So yeah, Blackbeard is so happy, so excited. So much so that on his way to Impel down, Kakuzu kept his mouth wide open, 
not afraid of cramps. Marinford's sea journey to Impeldan was not all smooth sailing, blocked by the Yuzumaki current and the Gate of Justice. That's why Blackbeard is going to be Shikibukai. Blackbeard lied that he was going to Impeldan under the orders of the world government, and deceived the Door of Justice. When the sea soldier guarding the Gate of Justice asked Blackbeard for the government's order, he was killed by Blackbeard. Blackbeard laughs wildly. What government order? What qualifications does the world government have to order Lao Tzu? The era of Whitebeard is coming to an end. The future is the era of my Blackbeard. You know what, thief ha 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 ha. With a very excited mood, Blackbeard came to impel down unimpeded. Then, the smile on his face froze. His eyeballs stick out like marbles. Huh? What's going on here? How did impel down become like this? Blackbeard was completely bewildered. Ad, impel down, known as the Iron Wall is now a mess and reduced to ruins. In the ruins lay the bodies of countless jailers and criminals, and the blood splattered the surrounding sea area red. Snapped. Blackbeard slapped himself. Isn't Lao Tzu dreaming? It hurts. It hurts. Blackbeard, who had double the pain, immediately cried out in pain. But his heart hurts more than the pain on his face. The sight in front of you is not a dream, but a reality. Someone got ahead of him. Blackbeard invaded him. Pell down. Damn it. What kind of tortoise bastard is he? And he doesn't have the same idea as Lao Tzu to conquer the impel down criminals. Blackbeard's mood suddenly fell from heaven to hell. The muscles in his face twitched. Champion Badger's consoled. Captain, if someone preempts us, what does it matter? Kill him together. Nian. Blackbeard was still in a very bad mood because he faintly felt the terrifying battle fluctuations that were breaking out a few floors below impel down. Even more faintly aware of a familiar strong breath, Blackbeard swallowed and prayed in his heart. Must not be that man must not be that man. Then he slammed his head down a few floors below impel down. Soon after passing through the second and third floors, we came to the fourth floor. As soon as he saw the figure of a bored man with his hands in his pockets at the entrance of the fourth floor, Blackbeard immediately showed an expression that he was about to cry. F.K., it's really you, you Wang Liu Oxing. Alabaster was also that time, obviously Lao Tzu came first. Why are you always trying to mess with Lao Tzu? Yo, isn't this little Hiwa? Liu Oxing, who was blocking the entrance, seemed to have discovered Blackbeard's appearance, revealing a mouthful of White Fang's surprise. I didn't expect to meet again so soon. What a fate. 170. Sure. A of the rain turned to Blackbeard, who made wedding clothes for Liu Oxing. Add. Blackbeard had the urge to curse. How old are you? You are actually called Lozixio Hiwa. Also, I don't want to have any fate with you at all, and I don't want to meet you again at all. Although annoyed, in terms of current worldwide fame, status, and bounty, the older Blackbeard is far inferior to Liu Oxing tilde. The pirate world, respects strength. Liu Oxing despised Blackbeard, there was no problem at all. Blackbeard knows this too. Since he can endure for decades on the Whitebeard ship, it shows that he is an extremely endurable person. Therefore, Blackbeard suppressed the anger and hatred in his heart, and said with an ugly smile on his face, Mr. Wu Huang, Mr. Liu Oxing, it's really a coincidence that you also came to impel down. I thought you had returned to New World after making a fuss about Sebadi. Liu Oxing couldn't see that Blackbeard was smiling on the surface but he was selling out in his heart. Liu Oxing made no secret of it, and the corner of his mouth evoked a mocking arc. Whitebeard Pirates and Marine Summit War. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Wouldn't it be a waste if we didn't take advantage of this time to put on a luxurious show in front of the world? Hearing this, Blackbeard's face twitched violently. Of course he knew this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and it was the one Blackbeard created. He Blackbeard is about to put on a lavish performance of the century, but isn't he ahead of you? While Blackbeard was extremely resentful, he was also a little scared. From Liu Oxing's words, how could he feel that the other party already knew all his plans? It's like playing him in the palm of your hand. No, no, his plans never leaked. Even with his friends like Badgers, Blackbeard only mentioned it a few times. Yu Wang Liu Oxing, an outsider, is absolutely impossible to know. But how to explain the current situation? Frightened and confused, Blackbeard took a deep breath and said, Add, the purpose of your coming to impel down is not simply to destroy this place, right? Liu Oxing smiled slightly. The answer is correct. The most vicious criminals in the sea are imprisoned here. Although they are all gangsters, as long as they can deal with the world government, they are somewhat useful. Blackbeard's heart sank to the bottom. Wu Huang Liu Oxing's goal, as expected, is to conquer the impel down criminals for his own use. Badgers and the others who followed Blackbeard's face changed greatly. Badgers whispered in Blackbeard's ear, What to do, Captain? It's this nasty fellow who is going to ruin our good. Just kill him. 99. Blackbeard really wanted to slap Badgers. If Liu Oxing could be killed easily, he would have already done it in Alabaster, would he have waited until now? Blackbeard inquired about the fighting situation of Liu Oxing, Zora, and Enlin Sebadi land. He became more and more jealous of Liu Oxing, competing with Pluton Rayleigh's conqueror's entanglement. The two sidekicks are strong men who can challenge Marine Admiral. Don't look at the fact that there are only three people on the other side, in a real fight, 
the Blackbeard pirates will be 100% defeated, and there is even a possibility of being destroyed by the group. Blackbeard is still very impressed with his current strength and power. He couldn't compare to Liu Xing, and he couldn't compare to the beast group behind Liu Crossing. Therefore, Blackbeard chose to endure again. He was standing on the road between the third and fourth floors of Impel Down, neither advancing nor retreating. Neither willing to fight with Liu Xing on the spot, nor willing to give up the goal and hand over the fruits of victory. Blackbeard seems to be holding a plan to take a step by step. But it said inside the fourth floor, the ten giants created by Liu Xing with the King of Biceps, as well as Ara and Enla fighting fiercely with the prison guards led by Magellan and Sher. Ara of the Rain. The ten giants with heights of hundreds of meters were unparalleled and countless people died in the wave of their hands. Those jailers were no match for it at all. Add, Magellan was furious and created several poisonous dragons to charge at the giant. Although the giant is powerful, its defense is too poor. Corrupted by Magellan's venom, three or two giants soon fell to their knees and rolled on the ground in pain. But because they are too big, even if they roll, their destructive power is amazing. In the blink of an eye, Impel went down to the fourth floor, and most of it was destroyed. Magellan became more and more angry, and wanted to kill the giant completely but a thunder struck his body, and Magellan was scorched with electricity. Although the poisonous fruit is tyrannical, it may feel a little helpless in the face of thunder fruit, which can attack from a long distance and can dodge quickly. Magellan could not defeat Ten for a while, and could only be held back. The other side, his partner, Sher, Aruv Impel Down, the great guard of the long reign, is facing Zora, the three swordsmen. Both of them are swordsmen, and they are both beast-like fellows. When the swords collided, sparks shot everywhere and the sword shadows were cold. But Shara seemed to have another idea and didn't fight Zora with all his strength. Zora noticed this, frowned and said, What's the matter? Use all your strength, otherwise, you will die. 35. If an ordinary person said this to Shara, Shara would have hacked him to death. But facing the green algae head, Shara knew that he couldn't kill him. This green algae head looks like it is in his twenties at most, but his strength is extremely brave, and his speed, reaction, sensitivity, and sword skills are all impeccable. Pound especially the other side's strange ghostly nine swordsmanship, making sure Ara have a feeling of cold hair standing on end. This guy is too strong, and such a strong young swordsman, including the thunder fruit capable person who fought Magellan, were all subordinates of that man. New Ang Liu Oxing, beasts pirates, really scary. Such a pirate group may be the real use of his Sher of the rain. That's why Sher didn't do his best. Sher didn't want to be the head warden at Impel Down anymore when he was locked up by Magellan. Add, he wanted to hack people freely on the sea. After seeing Liu Oxing's hundred beasts, he had a plan to join him. And when he saw Liu Oxing just standing at the entrance, he was shocked by Blackbeard, who dared to offend Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world. He didn't dare to go any further and Shara was completely determined to take refuge. Shara suddenly put away his sword and smiled at Zoro with a cigar in his mouth. You beasts pirates don't mind another powerful swordsman. 35. What? Zoro frowned, feeling bored. It's really boring to hit the opponent but vote. Zoro curled his lips and said, I can't control this. You can ask Lord Liu Crossing 99. Liu Xing, who was at the entrance, was not surprised by Shara's words. This person is a guy who is not willing to be mediocre, compared with Marine who has many rules. The pirate camp is more suitable for him. In the original book, Shara chose to join the Blackbeard pirates, but now there are stronger beasts pirates in front of him, and the fool still chooses the former. Liu Xing smiled lightly and said to Shara of the rain, Of course I don't mind. We at beasts pirates are open to anyone who wants to destroy the world together. Shara of the rain was overjoyed, and immediately made a salutation. From now on, I will remove all obstacles ahead for Lord Liu Xing and the hundred beasts. As soon as this word comes out, the faces of the two people changed wildly. Shocked and angry, a self-proclaimed impel down Warden Magellan. This bastard Shara is really heinous. He asked him to come out to help, but unexpectedly, he turned to the enemy, which is extremely hateful. The other is Blackbeard. Blackbeard just felt completely cold. He wasn't sure how to deal with Liu Oxing 3. Now Liu Oxing's side has joined a powerful Shara of the rain. It's still a trick. Blackbeard wanted to cry without tears, and this trip to impel down, he was afraid that he would really have to go for nothing. He has planned a plan for a long time and he has put in so much effort, I am afraid that he will really make a wedding dress for others in vain. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.